What up, it's Warchief, and today we are going to talk about recording automation into Bitwig. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I do it, and you can tell me how you do it down in the comments below. But yeah, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and let's get to it. You can see I have Bitwig open, and I have just this uh, loop right here. I'll play the loop for you. It's nothing crazy. Anyway, so when you want to record automation, so we're, what we're going to record is a filter. That's like the easiest thing to record into your DAW or in your music, pretty much. So we're just going to use the uh, native filter from Bitwig. Okay, I am using a MPD-218 controller. It's a pad controller, and it has six knobs. Okay, I'm going to show you that right now. So these knobs right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to MIDI map this knob to the filter and then this knob to the on and off to the filter, well, to the device. So let's do that right now. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So to do that, you're going to want to click on, this is the cutoff right here. We're going to use the cutoff for that first knob I showed you. You're going to right click map to controller. So you're just going to move that uh, knob right there. So now it is uh, MIDI mapped to the cutoff, and then I want to do the same thing for the on and off. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to map to controller or key, and then you just twist it, and it's you can see it right here on the bottom left where it says on and off, and it's off right now, and then you twist it in the middle, and that turns on. So we're going to leave it on for right now, and then we have the cutoff right here. So... I feel, this is how I feel, <laughs> you guys can feel a different way, or however you feel, um, I feel it is better, okay, not better, well, I feel it is more superior to record in your automation than drawing it in, because it gives it an actual feel, like, people are like, oh, shit, <laughs> something's coming, like, and they're feeling something, but for perfectionists, I know you have to be, like, stopped on that one bar and be like, yep, nothing past that, where it sounds like shit, but anyways, what we're gonna do today is show you how to record the automation is, okay, big mistake I did at the beginning, and I was like, why is it doing this, this little button right here is to record in your automation, do not press this, that will activate, but never press the record up on the Bitwig thing, because you'll see what happens, this is what happens, I'm gonna record, and You can see the automation going in, and it's picking up my voice because I'm recording from the mic. And But it is deleting your sound. And it's like, what? Why? I recorded, I was trying to record my automation and everything. Yeah, big mistake. Did it at the beginning, I, then I figured it out. <laughs> but a lot of people probably already know this. So we're going to press Command-Z, back to our normal. So we're going to go down here where this... To get this drop down menu, you're going to go to your audio and then right here, then go to uh, filter and then cut off. So I want this cut off. So what you're going to do is you're going to press this, you're going to press this record button right here and then just this little W by the recording. So now we're, our cut off is all the way down to zero, whatever you want to, 23.1 hertz, whatever. Now we're going to press play and then we are going to mess around with the knob and the filter and it's going to sound great. So let's do this. Let's go. And as you can see it recorded in my automation. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. And I... Do not, I swear, I do not have like a magic controller where I set everything up for every plugin and then mess with everything. Usually after I record something in like that, I will come down here and I will uh, delete or clear controller assignment. And then this knob will not work for that parameter anymore or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then I will do the same thing to the on and off clear controller assignment and that won't work for that anymore so I pretty much just deleted my um, MIDI map mapping and now it doesn't work and then I can pull up something else 
Let's pull up a uh, Bitwig uh, audio effects, a chorus, and then let's say I want to set the map or map to controller key, and I'll do the mix right here to that one, and then let's say the time I will do it to this one, and so it's record. That's all set. So I have these, so I can record these in too. So make sure, just press your W, don't press the record button up there. And make sure your uh, track is on the record, and then we will press play, and we will mess with those. And you can see it recorded in, it, you'll go down here to your chorus, and it will go down to the uh, time, and you can see what you recorded in there. And you can add on to this. You can like add um, your time, and then you can go down here to chorus. And what else we have? We have the mix. See the mix. You can add your mix. So you can see your automation. Chorus time, chorus mix. Let's do that with the cutoff, or the filter, I mean. Go to cutoff, add it. You can see your filter cutoff, how the automation is. It's really cool and this is how I do it. So let me know how you do it. Do you have a crazy controller where it has a bunch of knobs and then you just mini map all your stuff and then just play your tune and tweak it and whatever? Like, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Tell me in the comments down below to how you record your automation. Also, tell me if this video helped you out in recording your automation. Were you using the record button up in the left-hand corner and you kept deleting your audio and stuff like that? And let me know if you do this a different way. Tell me an easier technique. Let me know because I'm trying to evolve as a producer. I'm trying to help you guys out also. So, yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next week. Peace.